Hello and welcome back to Gex. Um, I believe this should be the last level of the um, spooky world. Which is a shame because these are the best levels by far. But hey, good things gotta end, right? And coming up after that is probably my favorite of the uh, worlds represented in this game. So like, I'm still excited. Okay, new power up! This one's ice. We get to freeze all of them. Oh, <laughs> I spoke too soon. I was going to say we were going to make some fly popsicles, but we ain't going to make no popsicles. They're just going to be split spit flavored from now on. Oop. As Gex is just getting spit roasted left and right by spikes. Ooh, it's the... What did I call them? The Shreko somethings? It'll come to me in the little fire spirits. There's just so much to explore in this game. I love it. With all of this nasty uh, environment stuff, these webs of string, and these uh, really weird skull things, which if that is uh, the skeleton of a creature, it is not one that I would want to see. It's very um, alien-esque. <laughs> I love me a good Poltergeist reference. Um, I think... I think that Gex was more tolerable in this game as far as his, uh... <laughs> oh gosh, just casual references to cannibalism. Although, I guess, Gex being a gecko going on a plane, uh, there would be as much expectation of human passengers as there would be of just, um, geckos. I guess it depends on how many anthropomorphic characters are there. Where he's the only one. I think it could go either or. Eh. Break! Okay, it worked. Nothing here. We're gonna scour the top of the level first, and then if we can't find... Okay, I'm gonna be trapped up there. No, wait. Ooh, hello. Did this just teleport me back? It teleported me back to where I already was. Okay, we took the top path, so now we're gonna take the other path! I bet I'm missing so much on the bottom, but hey, there's a time and a place for topping and bottoming, so right now Gix is the top. It can be tail time later. Okay, I take back what I said about him being less obnoxious, because like, so many voice clips already. Also, uh, this game is conditioning me to... <laughs> it's conditioning me to, like, um, not trust any of the, uh, jumps. Because of that, um, there were a few instances just going in the mucusy goop right from just landing. Who do all these skulls belong to? What kind of crypt? Ah! Well, she did. I guess we're gonna take this. We're gonna take advantage of that uh, accidental death. <laughs> Sorry, I'm distracted because I could have sworn I saw, like, a ghost face, um, face on the moon, which was pretty entertaining. Okay. Not quite Majora, but it'll do! Okay, maybe I can actually display the- oh, no. Never mind. Forget what I just said. Okay. Oh. It was just a power-up. Okay. I bet those paths to the bottom, because there's so much here that's, like, on the way. Ha! Jason Popsicle! <laughs> it's Jason in the winter! When the camp is frozen, I've forgotten the name of the camp already. It's been so long since I've watched that movie. I guess he's still down there! Just that original, um, that Mandela effect where everybody thought that he was... Spoilers for that uh, movie series, that everybody thought that he was the original villain one. He's in fact not. I won't elaborate on that because it's worth watching. Or, I don't know, uh, some movies haven't aged well, and the, um, the standards were definitely different way back when. There are some telltale signs of just uh, a basic uh, slasher movie, but hey, it was one of the first of its kind, so it, it can afford it. Okay, what is- there is definitely something down there. I would like to know what. Bonus? Bonus? Ah. If I can, ooh, stuff and things. 
And now we're trapped! Whee! Okay, this power-up really isn't going to help. And it's it's gone. And I don't have any hit points to make up for it, so I just can't... I'm not allowed to get hit at all here. Okay, is there a way to get up there? I'm assuming so, but like, where... Ah! Dang it! Ugh. I saw it coming, but I didn't press the right button. We haven't gotten either of the two controllers that we're looking for. The uh, controller to unlock the next section of the haunted worlds, and then the controller to access the next world entirely. Okay, I've got to take advantage of that uh, tongue move. I mean, not the tongue, the tailspring move, because it's going to come in handy. Okay, extra power up. Oop. Okay. I know there have been quite a few times where I've been playing this game uh, with the keypad instead of the controller, and I have accidentally, uh, ah! I've accidentally uh, jumped instead of using uh, the right attack right into my, oh, hmm, okay. I thought for a second that might have been a hidden wall. Okay, we can land here. Aw, oh, yeah. What, what do you do when you don't like somebody and they're intruding on your space? You put them on ice. Unless they're dangerous, then just run away. Okay, we're still on ice despite being doused in the flames! Okay, I got this, I got this, I got this. Just gotta not jump into the goo. We don't want to be slimed! Our Nickelodeon days are over! I do love how you can loop the, um, the tail attack. It is very helpful in certain circumstances. Okay. We're gonna just ignore all of that. Okay, there is definitely something up there, but I don't know how to ah! access it. Okay, we can't jump there. Oh, no, wait, I think that's part of just the, uh, ooh! I think that's, yeah! Sneaky! So much, uh, ooh, I want one of these. They taste like mint and Windex. Okay, there's nothing else up here. I am trying to scour for his hidden stuff, but like this game hides its stuff pretty well as we've seen in the first three levels. Which kudos to it, but because I don't want these uh dang it. We tried so hard and got so far, but in the end we got roasted. Okay. This won't No! I I am trigger happy with these things. I have to really learn how to like, just not press a bunch of buttons. I am majorly jamming out to this music though. I love it. Okay, I think we may have messed up. We might have needed that enemy to go up there. Never mind. We did not in fact need the enemy to go up there. Okay. This is gonna be risky though. Okay, we did the thing. And we got the ice! So much fire and ice. It's almost like that uh, game series, which I don't remember the name of. Okay, good. It's invincibility. I thought for a second that was going to be super speed, and super speed is really not going to be helpful in this situation. Okay. Wow! Three checkpoints in this level. This is a long one. Okay, we've got the tune remote. But what's down here? No! Death. It's always death. It can't just be a puppy or like a little hidden shop for like cutesy, I don't know, Hello Kitty or Hello Gecko uh, paraphernalia. It's always just got to be that uh, pus milk death stuff. And of course, I didn't cling to the wall because I wasn't uh, going far enough. I guess Gex is just not okay. We just need, that's why he's always talking, because like he just needs somebody to talk to, but there's nobody there. And he can't interact in any meaningful way to the player because the player is through a screen. I know how you feel, Gex. That's exactly how I feel recording these. Wee! I will, I shall help you douse the flames. How on earth are we? Oh, I see, we're supposed to hold the button in the direction where we want, kind of, ah! I tried to jump there, but it didn't uh, quite register. Okay, this had better be a hidden path. Well, there's the exit, so I think we messed up here somewhere. 
All right. Hidden? No! We're all the way back here! Okay, that's fine, though, because, like, there was a whole section that I did want to... I'm starting to think maybe I should just jump off an edge or something. Okay. But we ain't no quitter! Oh. Apparently, if I hold the jump button, it goes way further. That's interesting to know. Okay. Ah. Wait, what? Are you kidding me? That's crazy! I just found a very well-hidden crevice that brought me to a bunch of lives. I am so glad that I uh, messed up there, I guess. Now we know the secret to immortality! Oh, oh, oh no, oh god. Okay. We're gonna have to nail that, and I'm pretty sure... I'm almost sure the bonus level is right there, because what else could be over there? Well, we're about to find out. Okay, come on. Oh, deep breaths. We've got this. We just gotta... Ah! We ain't got this! Okay, camera, please. Okay, that's mean. I haven't quite gotten the um, timing of those jumps. I know, I know that I saw um, something that allowed you to jump a little bit higher. So we're gonna practice that real quick. Is it up or is it jump? Well, we can't see with that enemy. Oops. Well, we's about to die. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I held down on to both of them. So I'm assuming it's the up that you have to hold and not the jump trigger, because that would make more sense for this game. But we'll see. Okay. What just happened? Oh, we are gonna spend a while in this section. Okay, let's try two more times, and if that doesn't happen, then I'll off-screen it. Because I really don't want to spend all of my time in this little section. Oh god, we choked. Ugh. We had it, and then we lost it. I swear, uh, the issue with this, for me, personally, is that um, holding down while jumping is very unintuitive. And it's not just that. You have to hold down, and then you have to immediately press up. And that is confusing. That is very confusing. Okay. Attempt number four. Five question mark? Okay, let's do it. We've got it. I keep jumping the... I keep hitting him way too early. Okay, we're off-screening this. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I figured out what I did wrong is that um, I have to hold it's both... Time. Um, up and forward to make sure that I'm going fast, but also making sure that I'm uh, going far enough. But um, I do have a lot of momentum when I hold the right trigger, so um, it's more of a question of like knowing when to pull back and knowing when to go forward, which is a little bit tricky. Okay. Thankfully, we've gotten really good at this minigame. I think we've already got it. Oh yeah! We did the thing! Okay, I'm a little concerned though. Um, I hope we get the controller and keep it. Or hopefully it'll plop us back. Nope, it doesn't plop us back anywhere. Oh, okay, never mind. It puts us back here, yay! Can we get the checkpoint again? Oh my god. You know what, we're just gonna go for it and hope that uh, it works. Okay, we're not falling for that again. No more uh, nasty green rotten milk. Ah, oh, dang it. We're just not fast enough. 
Sonic goes, gotta go fast. Gex goes, gotta go fast, but I'm not fast enough, so I fail at everything. Actually, so I commentate for, uh, for, uh, videos. Okay, we're not gonna do that again. Oh god, we almost did the thing again. Okay. Just gotta remember that nothing and nowhere is safe, ever. Okay. We're just gonna do it in the safe way. <laughs> just throws Gex into a giant condom. Okay. Okay, we're still safe. We're still good. We can still do this. Wait, where are we? Uh, oh. Okay, this just threw us right back! It's all a lie! At least there are no enemies now, and I know that it's safe to go all the way down, so we're just gonna... And we have the buffer of one power-up, so that's cool. But this enemy, unfortunately... Okay, there's more of that juice! That nasty green juice! That our mom makes us eat, even though she knows we hate it. God, they're so accurate with their- Ooh! Ladybug! The ladybug has revived us! Cause Gix loves the ladies. He presents his tails to the women's. Ah! Okay. We're doing real great so far. Just gotta stick to those walls and be real safe! I know we can afford to- Ah, oh, dang it. I was about to say we can afford to take the hit, and took take the hit we did! Self-fulfilling prophecy. Yay, we did the thing! All right, that was level four. I will see you guys in the next one. Hello and welcome back to Gex. We are about to fight the first boss, the Spin and Puke, which, um, I don't really know what to say about the bosses in this game. They tend towards the simpler side, but because Gex can only take so few hits, they can be somewhat tricky. I do like the references they represent, though. This one is very clearly a possessed girl, which is definitely familiar. Okay. Not entirely sure. Oops. Okay, I can't touch her body, I guess. <laughs> this is definitely a reference to The Exorcist, and I appreciate it for what it's for. And she's dead. Well, I'm going to couple this with the uh, previous episode because that was nothing. So I'll see you guys in the next one.